Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on how to use Mojang's Slicer tool. Now in the description, there is a link to the releases tab of their GitHub. Now, what's shown in the video might not be the latest release at the time of watching. So just on the releases tab, you're going to find the top one, whichever one says latest. What you're gonna to wanna to do is find where it says assets here. Now it might be closed, but uh, it should be open. Um, if it's not, just open it. And then in here, you'll see a .jar, a .tar, and a .zip. You are going to want to download the .jar, and to do that, you're just going to click on the .jar, and it will download. And then what you're going to want to do is find out wherever it downloaded to. So in my case, that's just my downloads folder. What you're going to do is copy the name of the jar. And you can do that um, by, you know, just clicking rename and just, you know, copying it. And then up here where the folder is, uh, click up here, right? And you're going to want to type in CMD and it will open up command prompt in that folder. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is type in Java and if you get uh, an output, that's good. If you don't, I'll get to that later in the video. Um, now what you're going to want to do is do Java dash dash version to make sure that your Java version is 17 or higher. In this case, mine is 20, so we're good. Again, if not, I'll get to that later in the video. Um, but now we're going to type in Java space space <laughs> Java space dash jar space, and then we're going to copy or we're going to paste the name of our jar. So to do that in command prompt, you just hit right click instead of uh, control V. Um, so then we're going to want to add quotes. Now, right now, nothing is in those quotes, but we are going to soon add something to those. So what we're going to do is in wherever your resource pack is, um, in my case, that's just the resource packs folder. We're gonna click up here again on the folder thing and we're going to copy where it is. Now we're gonna paste that inside those quotes, but we're not done. We're going to add a backslash and then we're going to copy the name of our folder or zip. If it's a zip, you want to copy the .zip and all. And we're going to paste that afterwards, which again is the right click. And we're gonna make sure that that is in quotes. And then after that, we're going to add a space and another set of quotes. And then what we're gonna do is wherever you want the output to be, you're going to make a new folder. I'm gonna call mine output. And what we're gonna do is open that folder again up here on the command line thing, uh, in the, the folder uh, thing. We're going to copy it and we're just going to paste that inside those quotes with again, right click. And then we're going to hit enter. And then it should run its magic. And then, uh, and then uh, boom, we have a new assets folder with all of the uh, assets that we need. And then this assets folder, you can just replace with whatever assets folder is in your resource pack. So in this section of the video, we're going to be uh, covering what to do if typing Java in doesn't work. Now in the link in the description, there's going to be a link to um, Java 20. So what you're gonna do is find Java SE development kit down here, um, should be the first group of uh, downloads. And then um, since we're on Windows, we're going to scroll to the bottom and where it says Windows X64 installer, you're just going to click the link to the side and download it. Now that is going to download and um, once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open it up and install it. <clears throat> so I've opened it up and we're just going to click next, click next, etc. Just, just go through the um, what it says to do. Wonderful. Now that's done and we hit close. If that gives an error, I don't know how to help you. Uh, anyways, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our C drive. Now there should be a file or folder rather named program files. We're going to open that up. In program files, um, there should be a folder named Java. You're going to open that up. And then in here should be all of your JDK downloads. Now, since we just did Java 20, we're going to open the folder named JDK-20. And what we're going to do is open up the bin folder inside that folder. And again, we're going to go up here to the folder name thing. We're going to copy that. And now what we're going to want to do is um, 
advanced system settings down here in, in the windows, you're going to want to find that view advanced system settings. Then we're going to hit environment variables. Now down here at the bottom where it says system variables, there should be one enabled path. And we're going to want to do is click edit and somewhere here, just hit the new button and paste in, oh, where'd it go? Pa paste in your thing and note here, you can use control B. Um, now, if your version um, was below 17 and you already have a program files, Java, JDK, I don't know, 15 in there or whatever, you're going to want to delete that um, and replace it with the uh, JDK 20. So we're just going to hit OK, OK, and OK. Now, um, we're going to open up command prompt again, and just to be sure, we're going to type in Java. Now, if this doesn't work, um, restarting your computer might help, uh, but if, does, if it doesn't work after that, I don't know how to help you. Uh, but again, we're going to type in Java version just to make sure, and yep, it is Java 20.0.2, which is the one we downloaded. Now, you can go back and follow the rest of the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.